hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix dispatch game crashing crashes at a startup not launching or won't launch freezing problem not loading or stuck on loading screen or black screen issue on pc so without wasting a time here follow the fixes the first fix is to update windows so go to windows settings on the left click on windows update and then click on check for updates and if there are any updates available then download and install them and after the installation just restart your pc once and after your pc restart then you can launch the dispatch game and check if your error is solved or not fix two is to update the graphic card driver so in windows search type device manager and open it now expand the display adapters right click on your graphic card driver and then click on update drivers and then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not if not then you have to perform a clean installation of graphic card driver so what you have to do if you're having amd graphic card driver then go to this website if you're having nvidia graphic card driver then go to the nvidia website and if you are having intel graphic card driver then go to the intel website i'm showing the example of nvidia graphic card driver so go to this nvidia website links are provided in video description and once you are on the nvidia website you have to enter your graphic card driver version over here and then select the windows operating system and then click on find scroll down now you have to download geforce game ready driver so whatever is the latest version you have to download and install it so click on view then click on download and once this exe file get downloaded double click it to launch it and then you will see this screen click on agree and continue then select custom advanced option and then click on next then tick mark perform a clean installation box and then hit on next and after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done restart your pc and then launch the game and check fix is to install visual c plus plus files so go to this website it is a official microsoft website link is given in video description now once you are on the website scroll down now download both the version x64 and x86 now you have to install both the version so first click on x64 version now if you see repair option then click on repair if you see install option then click on install and install it now click on x86 version now if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and install it and after installing both the x86 and x64 version just restart your PC once and then you can launch the game and see if the error is fixed or not. Fix 4 is to install DirectX end user runtime web installer. So go to this official website of Microsoft. Link is provided in video description. And once you are on the website, click on download, then double click it and install it. Then restart your PC once and then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. And the last solution is to modify the game launch options. So open Steam. Go to library, right click on dispatch game. This is just an example I am showing with another game and then select properties. Now in the launch option type minus D3 D11, close the tab and then launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. If not then again go to properties, this time type minus DX11, close the tab, launch the game and check. If that doesn't work then again go to properties, this time type minus DX12. Close the tab, launch the game and check if problem solve or not. If it's still not working, then again go to dispatch game properties. Now remove the command from the launch options and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Fix 6 is to delete the save game files. But please take a note, first create a backup because all game progress will be lost. Now open file explorer, go to C drive, open users folder, open your username folder then open app data folder if you don't see this app data folder over here then click on this view then click on show then check mark hidden items then open app data folder then open local folder and within the local folder you will see dispatch folders so right click on dispatch folder first copy it and then paste it to desktop first then right click on dispatch folder and select delete to delete it now you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not Fix 7 is to run dispatch game as an admin. So open Steam, go to library, right click on dispatch game, then click on manage and then select browse local files. 
it will open the game installation folder the path is c drive program files s86 steam steam apps common dispatch folder now right click on dispatch exe file and select properties then go to the compatibility tab and then tick mark run this program as an administrator hit apply ok and then launch the game from the game installation folder and then check if your problem is solved or not if not then modify the compatibility settings so again go to the compatibility tab and this time check mark run this program in compatibility mode for and select windows 8 from the drop down then hit apply ok and then launch the game and check if that doesn't work then again go to the compatibility tab and this time from here select windows 7 hit apply ok then launch the game and check if it's still not working then again go to compatibility tab and this time also select disable full screen optimization option then hit apply ok and then launch the game from the game installation folder and check if your problem is solved or not now if it's still not working then again go to the compatibility tab and untick all these three options and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video fix 9 is to run the game on dedicated graphic card driver so in windows search type graphic settings and open it then click on add desktop app and then browse to the game installation folder browse to c drive program files x86 steam steam apps common dispatch folder select dispatch exe file and then click on add after adding it expand it click on drop down next to gp preference and select high performance and then you can launch the game and check fix 10 is to disable overlay so open steam go to library right click on dispatch game this is just an example and then go to properties then turn off enable the steam overlay while in game so if it is toggled on then just toggle it off and then launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not disable discord overlay launch discord on your pc then click on gear icon in the app bottom left corner click on game overlay on the left panel and then toggle off the enable in game overlay disable nvidia overlay open nvidia geforce experience settings general turn off in game overlay similarly disable overlay in all apps or close all other overlay apps such as geforce experience nvidia shadow play overlay amd overlay and then launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not 11 solution is to verify the integrity of game files so again go to steam go to library right click on dispatch game select properties go to install files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification has been done then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not this is just an example fix 12 is to uninstall and reinstall dispatch game now if nothing seems to work then uninstall dispatch game from your pc restart your pc and then reinstall the game you can reinstall to ssd or another external ssd drive and then launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not so i hope by following these fixes you can easily solve dispatch game crashing crashes at a startup not launching or won't launch problem freezing issue not loading or stuck on loading screen or black screen problem on pc so that's all for this video if this video helped you then please like and subscribe to my channel share this video and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thank you